I send it and it throws me fully sideways into a curb. He was a little pale, but. All right. The Lambo is back, baby. Currently cruising in my Lambo and we are going to the shop right now. So I can go ahead and give you guys a shop tour and uh, make my first comeback video in like four months. So I hope you guys are excited. Follow me on Instagram at BYB Tim because I'm gonna be basically back back to it, back to Instagram, back to YouTube. Hopefully you guys can enjoy it. And um, I'm kidding, man. Nothing happened to the Lambo, everything's good. I said the Lambo is back, but it's never been gone. So everything was chill. Just so many people were worried about it that uh, I had to say something, you know, I gotta tease them. But everything's good. I'll catch you guys at the shop. All right, guys, before I start answering everyone's questions, let's do a fast shop review. I'll show you guys everything transparently from A to Z. I'll go through all the cars. There's customer cars in here. There's my cars in here. And I'll just quickly explain what's going on. And um, so first things first, I did want to mention that this shop right here, I rented it. I did not buy it. But the point here is that this is exactly what I looked for. This is something like a basically it's a step into the direction that I want to go. I didn't want to get like a commercial lot, you know, with four or five thousand dollars just shop overhead just for like a entryway just because i want to see what it is like to own a shop operate a shop the expenses and etc so let's go ahead and flip the camera because i'm on my iphone right now we're gonna go ahead and flip the cam and show you guys everything explain what's going on show you guys all my space and uh, all the projects that i'm currently working on after that we're gonna sit down and chit chat with you guys through all the questions that you guys had over the four months i'd say three and a half months i'm gonna try to go ahead and explain what's going on and answer most of you guys questions all right, so here she is, uh, 1,300 square foot inside there. And then this all right here is just extra storage. So it is plenty of room for me, for now at least, because I tend to work on my own cars more than customer cars or anything. So let's just go ahead and show you guys what's going on. I got parking from here, all around here and there, plenty of parking on the outside, probably like seven, eight cars pretty easily outside. If I wanna pack it in, I'll do more, but I got parking inside, so I'm not too stressed out. We got our lamb inside right there. It's looking absolutely stunning. But this Audi A4 is my cousin's. He's actually a Ukrainian refugee, just came in. So we're helping him get this thing situated. And he bought this thing for 600 bucks, man. The guy posted it for 1500 bucks because it had no radiator or I had a fat radiator leak. It was horrible and the headlights were like crusty condition. But I got them polished up. We got a new radiator for like 90 bucks and this thing is basically on the road. So we gotta put some antifreeze in it today and it should be solid. I actually drove it home with a bad radiator because it wasn't too far away. But anyways, we're not gonna take too much time on that. We have a customer M3 right here that was manual just swapped and he has some drift spares, but it was a manual swap, it used to be an auto. Customer 328D, that customer was asking me to do a quarter swap on it. So we're working on that. But let's go ahead and hop inside the shop and show you guys the space and everything. This is gonna be a little, very just a walkthrough transparent video. We got some Volkswagens in here, a little bit messy, but I got my compressor here. Hope you guys can hear me well without the echo or with the echo. And then we got our heat unit right here. So this bad boy heats up this shop probably like five, 10 minutes and it's warm and it's ready to go. Nice table right here. We are still unpacking. And you know me, I can't just unpack and not work. So I unpack and work at the same time and do everything and multitask. So that's kind of the, the setup here right now. We're unpacking from the tent bunch of my tools, bunch of my bolts, everything I'm trying to find places. I'm gonna go ahead and put a wall back, I think between these two and put a wall right here with all my chains and everything like that, which are currently all under here. These are all Volkswagen parts from this thing here. I'm doing a frame job on it. But yeah, we got quick jacks right there, Lambo poster, yada, yada. So this thing's gonna get cleaned up. We're gonna make everything look pretty. Stay with me. I just really want to come back to YouTube because I miss you guys, all my fans. Uh, my toolbox, man, it's so convenient, it's so nice when you're working on a car, you can just grab this thing, pull it up to where you're working, and that. So a diesel Jetta right here, we are having a little roof repair, and look at them gaps, you know it, you know it. Bondo cart, really nice, you pull it up to where you need it, you got all your sandpapers on there, you got the DA, everything, everything, bust out a job right quick. Got the panel roof right here, we do have a restroom. So we chilling, we got a bathroom, backyard boys. That's super nice and convenient. You know, you don't gotta run. <clears throat> Anyways, we're not gonna talk about that. Funny thing, this glass right here, I ordered from that Jetta. Waited like two and a half months from it from, yeah, somewhere right there. Anyways, 
plenty of room between the cars like easy i can fit more cars in here i just don't one question that was asked five million times is yo is a lamborghini totaled what's going on with it guys look at this it gets driven look at that front end's getting pitted already it's all super dirty right now i gotta wash it finally a nice little day out here today but the lamb is all safe and sound it's got twelve thousand miles on it right now all the nicks and crannies are out of it there's no lights on the dash nothing we've got a polished car right here so this this is not all fully done just yet i have more, more polishing stuff right there that's gonna get organized and put here and then man i just dude i drive this thing pretty pretty rarely but when i do i miss it and i can't wait to get back into it quarter panel from that 328d outside we got a little toolbox right here just for um basically if i have any helpers or anything they'll pull up and we just got this toolbox yesterday so i'm still getting it all situated toolbox here for more important stuff heavy stuff rarely used stuff um my guns what do we have i haven't even I haven't even fully packed this thing in yet but you, know, you guys get the point what's going on here high pressure fuel pump i posted on my instagram story which you guys can follow me at byb tim high pressure fuel pump i changed on the 335 i or xi and uh that thing started running all perfect now so we got quick jacks right there it's kind of the layout let me actually show you guys like that let me get into the corner of the shop so yeah you guys can see there's plenty of room a lot better than the tent and i'm gonna say there's probably like 20 foot ceilings if not more so that car has another like 10 feet on top of it anyways that's awesome but let's hop into the storage room which is not all the way fully set up just yet we have our paints we got our detailing supplies oils coolants uh respirators gloves all the tools kind of getting things set up still but got bumpers getting repaired nice solid storage room i love this room because i can store everything that's not supposed to be inside the shop inside this room and it saves me a ton of space inside the shop on top of that i got my own office now so i got my own office got a windshield in here but I'm gonna go ahead and put a mini fridge in here, a microwave, a table, office. I don't know. So it's a pretty big room too. I'm standing right here. That's that. And um, very nice and private. Not much noise here. It's gonna be much easier to record. But yeah, guys, that's basically a simple walkthrough. Um, I did want to answer a bunch of questions and tell you guys the direction this channel is going. I left that light on, so I'm going to kill that right now. But I did want to mention the way this channel is going and um, explain you guys some difficulties with the channel, with it being a main source of income, um, why that was a mistake from my side and why I should have not have done that. I put in so much time, money, and everything into a channel, and it didn't pay out as we expected. Um, and that's fine. You know, this happens as business, it's life. It's not, not something I'm going to sit there and complain and cry about. But now that I've been on YouTube for like two and a half, three years, I think somewhere around there, I kind of matured and I kind of know what's going on and what my fans like, what I like, because, um, to say I have to find a balance between what my fans like and what I like, because if I do always what I like and my fans don't like, there's no point of even filming that because you guys are not gonna watch it. But if I do what you guys like and I don't like, then I'm gonna get burnt out. There's gotta be a balance between passion and hard work. So clearly my passion is cars because this is something that I just sit here and wrench 24 seven because I love this. It's not something that I do because I have to. I don't have to do cars. I make money on different, I have different sources of income. It's not like YouTube did not buy me this Lambo. I, you guys, a lot, of, a lot of people are saying, oh, YouTube bought you this Lambo, yada, yada. If I showed you guys my analytics and my revenue from YouTube, you guys will probably laugh to be honest um, and say, how are you affording these kind of nice cars, yada, yada, yada. Um, so I guess right now, let's go ahead and set up a stool somewhere, get, get, get ourselves a nice little background and answer some questions because we got a lot to go through, man. We've been missing each other for three or four months and it's been, it's been blessed to say the least. Um, I know a lot of people on YouTube saying that, that um, maybe you know something happened, some kind of accident, something like that, but everything's good. Let's pop a squat and uh, talk. Welcome back to Backyard Boys. 
Oh, I don't even know where to start, honestly. So I did do a poll on my Instagram like four days ago asking you guys what questions should I answer in my comeback video. And uh, there's a lot of just random questions, uh, but there was a lot of repetitive questions, the questions that constantly get asked ever since I left. Where have you been? How are you doing? How is the Lamborghini? How is the RS5? How is this car? Where is this car? So. I'm gonna start off with things that are least important, I think, in my category, to most important. So, we're gonna go ahead and start off with the cars, because cars are, I guess you can say, least important. So, RS5 is just about done. It's actually, um, it had the adaptive something suspension system. I forgot what it's called, honestly. DS something system where all the shocks need to be filled up with fluid. And every single Audi dealership is out for like three months, two months, five months, like it's crazy. But I think that RS5 is gonna come back pretty shortly. I'm gonna show you guys some pictures. I can just probably pop up some pictures. I assembled that thing fully. It looks great, it drives great. There's no um, check engine lights or anything. There is a little minor exhaust leak from the front. I think from the impact maybe, it kind of, played with the, um, the down pipe to the up pipe or whatever it's called and that is leaking over there but it just needs a new gasket and that's fine. Besides that, it's got the alignment done on it and the DSLR, DC, something system with the suspension because right now the car is fully bagged out, well lowered all the way because it has no fluid in the shocks. Anyways, that's the RS5, C63 is sold, M6 is sold, X5 is sold. Um, let's see, let's see, Golf R is sold, yeah, that's a long time ago. Um, let's see, I don't even know, man. All the cars are basically sold. Yeah, besides my white TDI that I daily, my Jetta. So the cars are not as important as uh, the other questions that you guys answer your question. So let's move on forward. Let me just think and I have, I have everything jotted down on my phone, but I'm filming off my phone, so it's kind of hard to uh, just get everything off the top of my head. Okay. So moving on forward, but I got a bunch of questions about the Lamborghini. Hey, did you wreck the Lamborghini? What is going on with the Lamborghini? He bought the Lamborghini and now he retired. He, um, these are the questions that I'm getting questioned. You know, um, he bought the Lamborghini and he wrecked it. He's in jail because he was speeding on the Lamborghini. He, this, 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 Lamborghini, 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 whatever. Um, I did want to say that the Lamborghini is totally safe and sound. I did a walk around early in the video and it's totally fine. There's, everything is done with the car. It's a beautiful car. Alignment is passed. I daily it, not really daily, but I drive it once we have some beautiful weather. Right now we have some gorgeous weather, but April is full of moody weather. It's gotta get, it's gonna be stormy, hailey, snowy, rainy, and then sunshine, uh, beautiful 70 degrees, and next day will be like back to 45. So that's April in Washington. But the Lamborghini is here, praise God, thank God everything's good. I did have a pretty close call to be honest with you guys. I was taking an on-ramp, I had a buddy with me and I just, just took an on-ramp and there was a bunch of gravel I didn't really see, like very minor gravel. And I send it and it throws me fully sideways into a curb. But thank God my reaction time was quick enough and my instincts were quick enough where I understood there's an all-wheel drive system. It's not a rear-wheel drive where you just lose off the gas, you know, and. It's a rear wheel drive, so I cranked the wheel to the left away from the curb and I stomped it and it just kind of like vroom, dragged me out from that curb and I had to play it off chill with my co-passenger, with my passenger. I was like, oh yeah, 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 that was supposed to be, you know, he was a little pale, but it's all good. That's the only close call besides that. It's all perfect. You gotta change the oil in it and yeah. So that's that. Let's see, my health. How's my health doing? My health is phenomenal. Guys, these last three, four months, I think the last time I up uploaded was December 20, like third or something. So right before Christmas I uploaded. And right now it's April 22nd. So yeah, four months. Anyways, it's been a long minute, but my health is good. My family life is good. Um, you guys know that I'm married now. I have uh, my family, my personal family before I was married. We have 10 people in our family. And then a bunch of my relatives are coming from the Ukrainian war as refugees. So we're trying to host places, you know, buy them cars, build them cars, trying to help out. So this four months, it almost felt like there was not a single day that I was just sitting and chilling. All these days were help, work, um, being able to help, being able to build money. Because like I said earlier in the video, or actually I'm probably going to get to it, that YouTube 
didn't fully make financial sense to me. And I can explain to you guys and I can break down things. I'm not going to show numbers and stuff like that, but I'll, I'll explain exactly how it is. But anyways, these four months have been a lot for us. It's been, you know, we had all the new years, all those Christmas, yada, yada. And then I got back to the grind, assembling the RS5, all this stuff. And, and then on top of that, we had the Ukrainian war started like a month and a half ago. And that, that was pretty hard because our family is Ukrainian. We have a bunch of family there and, you know, helping people there, sending money, doing everything we can from our side to help. But long story short, we're not going to talk about that much. We're going to talk about what's going on with the channel, where are we going and um, what, what's next. So my film guy is actually getting married this weekend. And now that I'm married and he's married, you know, it's much harder to get together to link up and to make a video. Um, so that's, I hope you guys understand. That's pretty understandable. You know, when we were single, we were both single, just, just chilling. Like, Yo, what's up, bro? Let's, let's get together and film a video. Oh yeah, absolutely. Boom, boom. Now it's a little bit more difficult and it's a good kind of difficult, you know, it's life. We grow up and stuff like that. So, so yeah, that's that. And then I did want to explain the financial sense of YouTube and why I wasn't burning to fly back on YouTube and just like, so I had a massive desire to get back on YouTube because I love my fans and I miss you guys like crazy and all the comments and everything. And I just kind of also did a, like a little kind of conclusion, not a little, I just, I just saw an example of when somebody is missing or somebody is gone, how much people start caring about them, you know, and it's kind of like, it's low key kind of like sad because like, you know how they say, there's a saying like, they only care when you're gone or something like that. Or when somebody passes away, that's when everybody, you know, but that's already too late, you know? But anyways, I was kind of mute on my Instagram, on my YouTube for three months and people are like, oh, what's going on? Just a bunch of comments, yada, yada. So that felt good. That felt great, you know, being appreciated, being loved. Um, some people were mad at me, pissed at me, saying like, oh, you're uh, this too, P post a video, you know, what the heck is wrong with you, cussing at me, this and that. That stuff doesn't come to my heart. I don't really care, honestly, man. If you guys are hating, then just balance, like, Bro, like, <laughs> I'm serious. I don't, I'm not gonna sit here and um, sell my soul to YouTube to make somebody happy. You know, this at the end of the day is my physical health, my uh, uh, mental health, my everything. You know, I'm not gonna sit there and kill myself over something to make somebody that I don't know happy. You know, I try to make everyone happy, but I'm not, I'm not ice cream bar where I would be happy for me. So, you guys have to understand that. Um, to those people hating, I'm doing good. So, so that's good. Um, I did also want to mention that I have zero obligation to post any videos. This is not something that I signed a contract saying that you guys are going to get videos. This is something that I want to do because I enjoy. And the, the, the second I stop enjoying it, the videos are no longer genuine. The videos are no longer fun. So it starts getting boring because financially it doesn't make sense, which gets me right to the topic of financially. For example, our builds, our X5M, our C63 AMG, uh, M6, you guys don't understand the amount of work I put into those vehicles in order to get back only a couple thousand dollars on YouTube revenue. So for example, the M6, I put in, you know, seven to 10 to $12,000 worth of work of that thing. If you realistically think about it, just labor alone. I don't know, you guys' prices, wherever you guys are located, might be cheaper, but in our area, if you take that M6 to a shop, they're gonna charge you $12,000. I got a quote on the RS5, it was over $25,000 just to repair that car. And I did all of that stuff, you know? So if you really think about it, I did not get $25,000 back from YouTube. And I had to document every process and stuff like that. So YouTube was not a beautiful revenue source for me. And I got burned out because I'm working back to back, uploading three videos a week and I'm not getting paid for it. You know, at the end of the day, I have so much bills living in Washington, it's expensive, it's really expensive. My bills in a month are probably like close to five grand. So like, you, know, you gotta make five grand to just to just live, you know? And it's not like I live bougie. I have a house that I rent, I have the shop now that I rent, and then just food, insurances, you know, PUDs, all my bills, everything like that. So it gets expensive and, um, People can say that, oh, money's not everything, but living in, in, in America, money is very important to have in the pocket. Not in the heart, money has to be in the pocket always because you gotta be humble regardless of where you are in life, you know? But that's hopefully something you guys can relate to and, under, and, and understand because 
if it doesn't make financial sense, I can't upkeep it. For example, M6, we built, we put tons and tons and tons of work on it, and we sell it, we get a $5,000 profit. Okay, so we get $5,000 profit, and then we get another couple thousand dollars off YouTube. That's still less than me just busting out the car and selling it. Or uh, not selling it, me just doing that car for a customer. So, stuff like that, you know, like the numbers that we were making from even flipping the cars, because everyone thought, oh, we build these cars, we flip them, we make 20 grand, and on top of that, we make 20 grand on YouTube, yada, yada. No, it's not accurate. They're, the numbers from YouTube are very low. YouTube doesn't pay much. You gotta be very high up there to get paid on YouTube, very good. So, moving into the next subject, the next subject is gonna be where is this channel going? This channel is gonna go, it's still gonna be me. And I want to make this channel fun, not only fun for me, but also for you guys. And I realized one thing that when it's fun for me, it starts being fun for you because I'm genuine. I chat, I laugh, I smile, I make jokes, this and that, you know, sometimes cringy, sometimes this, but it's fun and you guys watch and you guys are entertained. And when you guys are entertained, the views are up, the, sh you know, the videos get shared around and I get more money and my money gets reinvested into this stuff right here because this is my life. It's not like I do, it's not like I wait till 6.30 to clock out and go home. No, I just, this is my life, this is what I do, this is what I enjoy. So every kind of source of revenue I get gets put back into viewership, into you guys entertaining, uh, you guys with entertaining content and entertaining videos, you know, ideas and stuff like that. So hopefully that kind of wraps up and answers the most majority of the questions. Um, at least the most important ones. There was a millions of questions about random things, stuff like that. But yeah, I'm gonna be coming back to YouTube and it's gonna be more selfie cam, more of this. I might have my nephew record once in a while, yada, yada. But we can expect more videos. We can expect less silence, Instagram posts and stuff like that. I appreciate all you guys for honestly just, you know, reaching out to me and saying, hey Tim, what's going on? Because that feels good. In a sense, it did feel like I low-key betrayed my YouTube fan, but at the same time, like I said earlier, I'm not obligated to post these videos. This is not something, you know, once it, I, I put in my head that I was like, oh, obligated, I gotta get three videos out, this and that. But once I did, did that, I started becoming burnt out very quick, and I didn't like that. I want this to be fun. I want this to be genuine. I want this to be real. So yeah, so I also wanted to, at the end of this video, tell and say a shout out to all my sponsorships. And, um, Whatever I can mention, whatever I can think of off the top of my head, for example, Quick Jacks, we use those things often, so shout out to Quick Jacks. Also, Auto Wheel, I do have a steering wheel for the Lambo. I haven't even put on yet Amforged wheels on the Lamborghini. All the people that were helping me, you know, like Surge Real Life Exotics, uh, LNC, LND, all those guys are, anyhow, they're helping with either doing something, providing a service, chatting, picking up a phone call and answering my questions. I want to shout out to each and every single one of you guys for being able to do that. Another thing is I am looking for, looking for builds always. So if you guys have a build, something you, somebody wrecked and you guys want to sell it, not give it to Copart, hit me up right away. I'm probably going to pay you over buyback and you guys are going to make more money than just giving it to Copart. And um, yeah, you guys can expecting more videos. Thank you guys so much for all the love and support and holding on till now. If you guys are still subscribed, if you guys unsubscribe, then it is what it is, you know. I'm not gonna sit here and try to grab onto every subscriber. I'm trying to create content that you guys can enjoy. That that way the videos and and I don't wanna beg for viewers, I don't wanna beg for subscribers, you know. I wanna be able to be a funny, entertaining channel and people genuinely come to me. So with all that being said, thank you guys so much for all the love and support. You guys can smash that subscribe button, smash that bell notification. You guys can follow me on Instagram, BYB10, because I'm gonna be more active. So yeah, guys, you guys have a blessed rest of your day and on to the next one.